globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the Info War to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency, Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Free screen should sound the alarm against those who would destroy freedom. For in its power to deceive and inflame, or enlighten and inspire, the motion picture has no equal. I've got uh, Chris's uh, T Mobile droid in here, and we scanned uh, the 54 apps that are on his. And if you look, he's got the free uh, iPhone app that we put out four years ago. We went with the standard uh, radio app that were used by hundreds of radio stations. And we have a green rating uh, showing that uh, version 3.4.8 um, that's used by hundreds of thousands of people it has a green rating. There are some in here that he has on his uh, phone that have an orange rating or a red rating. I want to ask John McAfee, the antivirus guru who's launched Decentral. Best, best easiest place to find it is whoismcafee.com. You just go there. And I uh, can't wait till it's on the Apple uh, platform. I'm going to put it on mine. Uh, it's just great to know and, and, and to create awareness of this, of who's spying on you. What does it mean that uh, Yahoo has an orange rating? Uh, the battery saver has, has up to a, a middle rating. Uh, the Google settings is into the middle, into the red rating. What are the rating systems on here? What does it mean that I have a green rating? Is that good? What you can do is you can click on that specific app, Alex, and it will tell you exactly what that app is doing. Uh, it'll tell you whether it's uh, accessing the camera or the microphone, whether it's reading your emails or SMS uh, messages, whether it's making phone calls without your knowledge. 
Um, but keep in mind that Google is 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 highly rated as as uh, undesirable, not undesirable, but uh, but invasive of your privacy because they are the world's collector of data. They want to know everything about you. Um, so again, clicking on it, it'll give you a rating. Then when you click on the application, it will tell you why it's given that rating. Uh, whether it's just your email messages or whether it's reading your contacts and downloading your contacts uh, information or what have you. Some apps do all of that. Some apps read the phone, uh, use the phone, send SMS messages, read the SMS messages, read the email, uh, watch you, listen to you, uh, all of the above. <clears throat> so clicking on them will tell you that. So um, even though mine is very simple and we set up with a mainline company to have limited stuff the yes. way the internet's designed it has some data just so it can give you higher or lower quality audio depending on how good your internet is and then even though we have a four-year-old app that's been updated it's still got issues and it's it's compared to other stuff on your thing you know super good rated but still is, is basically wide open i guess the internet itself has been built to spy on people well, I don't think that was the original intent, of course. I think the original intent was to, to uh, assist communication and, and share knowledge. But very quickly, I think corporate and government agencies have, got, have said, whoa, this is a terrific platform uh, that we can use to increase our profits, to spy on our citizens, to control our citizenry. And, and that's what it's being used for now. And we, we, are, we are culpable in that we willingly do these things we willingly download these apps because they they make life a little bit easier but the price for that ease is a loss of privacy so it's trojan horses we literally take the so-called free gift but yes. it's not free we take the palantir uh from yes. sauron but it's so he can control us that's absolutely that's it basically it is not free it doesn't cost you money it costs you a lot more than money it costs you your privacy your your intimacy I mean, think about it, Alex. I mean, if, if, if you give an app the ability to read all of your emails, uh, some people, you know, they, they, they send quite juicy emails to their spouses or, or you know, their, their lovers. Good Lord, do you want that downloaded and, and accessible to some corporation? I don't think so. And yet you willingly, when you load these apps, give that app the right to do that. It's insane. We, we need to get a grip on ourselves. We need to understand what we have done with the technology that we have created. We have created a monster, and we have let that monster into our home. That's right. John McAfee is our guest. Uh, again, I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. Let me just get into some news with you, John. This is always interesting. What do you think of this uh, situation out in Nevada, where clearly, if you know the laws, as you do, they've had grazing rights for 140 plus years. They've got you know, cattle crossing signs there. They've run 53 families out of the area. They're the last family out there. And now they're tasering people, beating up protesters, uh, telling the governor to go jump in the lake when clearly they have the grazing rights, the surface rights, uh, the water rights. And BLM all over the country is kicking people off public land where they have grazing rights uh, for hundreds of years in some cases. Uh, and government literally with attack dogs, bugging their eyes out, uh, it just seems like this imperious attitude. What's your take on that? Yeah, don't talk to me about the law, Alex. I've been sued a hundred times in 22 years and spent over $10 million in legal fees. Uh, the problem with the law is that it, 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 it helps now just the lawyers. I mean, lawyers are making out like crazy. And it helps those who are in power. Um, so the law is something that that's no longer of a, a blind lady with a scale. No, it's something where the rich weigh the balance, where the uh, the people in power, uh, the people who have greed, weigh this balance. So, so you know, I, I'm, I'm the last person in the world to talk about this. I'm excessively biased. Uh, Ten million dollars, Alex, in 22 years in legal fees. Now, this is outrageous. And again, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, grazing rights are, are, you know, they were established hundreds of years ago. Um, and, and if we look at the, the, the reality of the situation, grazing rights, well, that's food. It's one of our necessities. Um, and when we, when we restrict ranchers, when we restrict farmers, when we, when we legislate against the manufacturers of our food, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're stepping on very dangerous ground. Well, that's right, and beef prices are at all-time high because people are getting out of the cattle business because of the regulations. Absolutely. And the meat packers are on record had the uh, FDA shut down all their competition to create a bottleneck. I mean, this is outrageous.
Well, I, I, I lived in New Mexico for a number of years, and it's all ranching territory. I know how tough ranching is. I've never done it myself, but all of my neighbors did it. I have a healthy respect for that lifestyle. I have a healthy respect for their attitudes, and I have a healthy respect for their, their work ethics. I mean, they work harder than anyone, um, and, and they, are, they are put upon by everybody, but certainly the government. You know, the government wants, wants land. We're running out of space. We need this. We need that. You know, and, and a, uh, a rancher that has, you know, 100,000 acres and is working his ass off trying to make a living, uh, well, that, that's great. That's 100,000 acres I can use for development. It's unbelievable. I mean, it, it's just, I have family in farming and ranching, and the bureaucrats will go harass some little ranch with 300 cows or 100. You can't make a living on that. And then they have big agri just above the law, and no one even messes with them because they write the laws. And this country's gone from being able to feed the whole world in the 50s to we import half our food and a third of our beef now. I mean, they have really jacked this country up. Absolutely. Um, and if you, if you think about it, food, clothing, and shelter are the basic necessities of life. Uh, when, we can, when we can no longer feed ourselves as a nation, uh, when we, when we uh, make it difficult for the manufacturers of, um, of uh, food or the producers of food to actually make a living, then it makes sense for them to get out of that business and do something else. Uh, it's, it's insane, sir. Well, it's like third world countries and dictatorships are always hell pits because the, you know, the control freaks just want to control everything and point guns at people and walk around in black uniforms and pretty soon everything falls apart. Great job. Well, it, it does indeed. And I think it starts with our privacy, Alex. Uh, if we don't have privacy and if everyone knows what everyone is doing, we're living in a nightmare. We're living in a world where we've lost our humanity. We've lost our, our basic ability to, to have communion and intimacy. Intimacy does not involve outside parties. It does not involve corporations and governments. It doesn't That's right. Free association means we can go into a house and play poker if we want. Or it means we can go with our wife and do what we want, or our girlfriend or our husband. It means we, you know, we, we, we lower the shades, not that we're doing something bad, but because this is our house. It's not your house. We build a fence because we don't want you looking at us. And we have, we have intimacy. Now, privacy... It's a matter of choice, Alex. I mean, when you first meet someone, you don't divulge your most intimate secrets, do you? It doesn't happen. Uh, after three or four dinners, you might tell them, you know, where you work and a little bit about your life. When you become very close to someone, you start divulging, like your, your spouse, your wife, your, your husband. You start divulging things about yourself which really don't belong wow. in the world at large. Wait, I know where you're going with this. I just clicked. You're right. You only share... You're, you know, the keys to your kingdom with people you love and trust, yes. and they are robbing and raping something that you might not even tell your wife yes. your deepest yes. secrets. And these little bastards at Microsoft and these people at, at Google and these people at the NSA and Defense Intelligence <clears throat> and all over are literally raping us. This is outrageous. Well, it's not just that. And, and here's the issue. In releasing Decentral One, uh, I took a major risk, Alex, because I am going against the corporate thrust of every major corporation and every ma major data acquisition company. Uh, Google, you know, I probably am the most unpopular person in the world for Google because my app will tell you what Google is doing. Um, sure, when you first when you first read the read the uh, the fine print, it says, "Well, you're giving us the right to to do a number of things, so you have to agree to that." And you say, "Sure," uh, without thinking. Uh, what my app does is make you think. It, it, it points out exactly what you have done. You've given them the right to turn on your camera, your phone, your, to, to, uh, to listen to you, to read your emails. It, it's, it is unbelievable. And so I'm going to be a, a, a very uh, unwanted person to, to almost every, co every company in America because every company depends upon marketing data for profit. Incredible. John McAvee is our guest well, John, um, in closing, and I hope you'll come back soon, what is your take on the Attorney General and the fact that they're using the IRS against their political enemies and haven't gotten in trouble, uh, and Obamacare and Fast and Furious? More and more people are coming out calling them criminals, and now they're threatening people back. Where do you, where do you see this country going? Well, you know, Alex, first of all, I think it's, a, it's an atrocity. However, this is nothing new, Alex. This has been going on since... Uh, uh, the times of J. Edgar Hoover and, and even before. Um, 
it's just it's just what power does. Power corrupts people, Alex. It does, and absolute power corrupts people absolutely. Uh, and it may be.